Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm not going to do the usual introduction, so there you go. Um, today we're taking a look at um, Adobe Lightroom and Adobe Bridge. But we're not actually looking at those two pieces of software. What we're looking at, what is integrated into both, is um, Adobe Portfolio, or My Portfolio as they call it, www.myportfolio.com. Now, how many of you are aware that you can actually create actually quite decent portfolios um, on, uh, on the website uh, through Lightroom and um, Adobe Bridge. And it's actually completely free and it's included within your Adobe Lightroom uh, uh, subscription. Well, Lightroom and Photoshop subscription. Um, and it is absolutely, it's pretty good. It's not, you know, it's not, uh, it hasn't got the same flexibilities as like Squarespace, Zenfolio, Smug Mug and what have you. Um, but it's pretty decent. And if you look at what I've got here, um, I've just set one up just um, for the fun of it. Um, and, you know, you can put your logo in, as you can see there. Um, and I've got different albums. Uh, you've got lots of different templates available as well. Um, so I, I've set up different albums here. Um, and, you know, if you're a part-time photographer or you just want friends and family to see the photographs, maybe you've got friends and family that live overseas and you actually don't want to subscribe to yet another service such as Smug Mug or uh, Zenfolio, um, even Flickr now, you have to pay if you're going to upload quite a few photographs. Um, this is completely free and integrated within uh, your Lightroom subscription. So I think it looks quite tidy. I mean, there are many other uh, uh, themes that you can use, um, but it's got its flexibility. You can still zoom in, um, scan through your images, you know. So um, it's actually, you know, quite powerful for the fact that you're not paying. Do you know what I like about it the most, though, is its integration with Lightroom and Adobe Bridge. And I'll, I'll show you exactly what I mean by that. So... Let's go back to Adobe Bridge. That's the one I've got open. Now, here we are looking at just um, in uh, Essentials. Uh, that's the tab along the top here. Uh, essentials, libraries, film strip, whatever. So you're looking in Essentials, and I'm looking at thumbnails of images that I took last year in Weymouth. So let's just cull them, go through them, and look at which ones we're going to use uh, to create a Weymouth album on... Um, my portfolio. So we're going to uh, let's go into film strip to be able to do that. We can see the images just a bit bigger. Let's make them even bigger again. So we'll just go through. I'm not picking any particular ones. Let's just mark them so we know which ones we're going to use. I'm using bridge because culling them I'm actually finding is a lot easier. Uh, not a lot easier. It's just easier in bridge than what it is in uh, Lightroom for some reason. It's just me. I'm not saying it would be the same for everyone. Obviously, I'm not saying that, but I just like the layout of Bridge and I like how I can go from You can see all I'm doing now. I'm, I'm lab labelling ad hoc as we go along here. Let's go with that one. There is a few along the river there that I like. I'm not picking any particular ones. So you get the gist. So you, you cull the ones that you, that you want. So um, let's now look at those. And we'll find those just by literally clicking on the ratings. And that's why I like Bridge. It's so easy and it's very simplified to get to the ones that uh, you've rated or whether it's JPEGs or RAWs that you want to look for. I have actually done a separate video on using Bridge. And a nice thing with Bridge, it's, a, it's free. It's a completely free bit of software. You don't even have to pay for subscription. Although, if you're going to be using uh, my portfolio, you will need a subscription to Lightroom or Photoshop. Um, so, there we are. That's the ones that I've picked up, picked up there. So what we're going to do is we're going to select all those. That's all, they're all selected. And we're going to go into Publish. And then in Publish, there's a section called Adobe Portfolio or, uh, or Back to Publish Services. So we're now going to, it says, drag files to upload. So we're literally now going to drag 
these images that we've just culled into there. And now it's come up with another dialog box and this is where it gets really fun and really interesting. The thing is with this, you don't have to create a separate folder to put these files in, then put the, the photographs into that folder, which is increasing your hard drive space. It takes longer. Then have to go onto the internet, uh, log in, upload the images. It, this is all done for you. So you create a title, so let's call this uh, Visit to Weymouth. Um, options uh, also show and Behance. We don't want, I'll go into that in a separate video about Behance. It doesn't uh, roll for continue, hit continue, and then it will create. Um, I'll take a little while to do that. That will now create um, the album on your My Portfolio site. It's all done automatic. So then once it's doing that, uh, uploading files to Adobe Portfolio. So we're not going to sit here and wait for that to be done. Uh, so what will happen now, it's actually quite quick. You can see here um, the little blue circle going quite quick. So if we go to My Portfolio and go to the Edit page, this is where um, it will appear. It hasn't appeared as yet, obviously, because it's still uploading. Um, but it will, will appear here and then I can then literally just hit update live site and then there you go, you've got it done. I think that's great, that is really speedy and that's really efficient and that's all included in your Lightroom package. Um, as I say, it'll take a little while for that to, well not a little while, it will take a few minutes for that to uh, upload, um, still hasn't appeared. I can't see a Weymouth one there. No, it hasn't appeared as yet, but um, that'll, that will appear. And um, oh, so, oh, so let's wait then, because it's almost done. Uploading files. And if you're really busy, isn't that a quick and convenient way of uh, getting your portfolio online? There we are, it's done. Uh, almost done, your project. Go to Adobe Portfolio, let's click on done, done there. Let's go to that, let's refresh that. Visit to Weymouth, there we go. I'm not gonna publish that because those aren't, these weren't particularly decent images. But you can see all I would need to do now, if I wanted to publish that, I would just click on update published site, uh, but I'm actually going to delete that uh, that page uh, because I don't need it. So visit to Weymouth, click on that, delete page. So there we go, that's the um, Adobe uh, My Portfolio. Um, very straightforward sort of portfolios. You can put, let's you know, say, different themes with more uh, information on. Um, but I just think it's a lovely, lovely bit of software that Adobe provide as part of your subscription. So uh, I don't think there's many people that knew it existed. I certainly didn't until a few days ago. Um, and I'm really enjoying using it. So there we go. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you found that short sort of tutorial uh, helpful. Please subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. That would be really, really helpful. And I do really, really appreciate all my subscribers. It means a lot to me. I don't earn, well, I earn a little bit because they're monetized, but I earn a wee bit from it, but not a great deal. Um, I do it for fun. I do it to help, uh, you know, other people. And if it does, that's great. Um, so there we go. Thanks very much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos relating to video and photography. Thanks very much. See you again soon. Bye.